Hi, everybody, and welcome to your Wisdom Wednesdays for today. I am Petrina Wisdom, your Fresh Start Specialist and Authentic Living and Leadership Coach. I want to thank you for joining me here today. Um, it's pretty surreal because today is the day that I'm moving out of my Las Vegas house and making the transition to San Diego. And so for those of you who have been following my journey, you already know that about a month ago, I you know, had been looking at my vision board that I created for this year and realized that I had pretty much everything I wanted in my life except for the environment. And within 72 hours, I decided, I made an empowered decision, which is what we're talking about this month in our Wisdom Wednesdays. I made an empowered decision to change my environment and to really step it up a notch and really go for my dreams and move to San Diego. And within 72 hours, I sold my house and bought a new house in San Diego and was in a double escrow. So my point for telling you that, sharing that with you, is that when you take it upon yourself, when you're bold and courageous enough to make an empowered decision in regards to any area of your life, if you're aligned with it and it's for you and it's in line with your purpose, everything moves swiftly and easily. There, ha there doesn't have to be a whole bunch of work involved. So obviously it was meant for me to take the next step, move away from my family, move away from my support system, my friends, everything I've known up until this point, and um, take the big leap to San Diego. And the very cool thing about this whole journey is that Last week, Thursday, I visited San Diego to go out and do my final walkthrough of my new house. And while I was there, um, most of you know that I'm one of eWomen Network's premier success coaches. And so I decided that while I was there, I would go ahead and um, attend the eWomen Accelerated Dinner that they were having. And I was really excited about it because one of my mentors, Lisa Nichols, was going to be speaking. And it's not very often that you get Lisa in a very small uh, group unless you make the investment, which I have done in the past, but it's been a little while since I've been in an intimate setting with her. And it was so powerful because she was talking about her story. She was telling her story again um, and I had forgotten that she, too, was a single mom living in South Central Los Angeles and decided one day that she was ready to really step fully into her power and just go out there and make it big as a speaker. And it's hilarious because she says that her family was like, what do you mean you're going to go off to you know, San Diego and become a huge speaker? People are going to pay you to speak? We want to pay you to shut up. you know." <laughs> so <laughs> kind of similar, right? You're never a prophet in your own land. And the people that have seen you transform from maybe a child to a teenager to an adult, you know. So you obviously are not as effective in your own community. And the thing that happens with your tribe, your community, your family, is that inevitably as you grow and develop and transform into this powerful, purposeful being that you're put here to be, all they see is that little girl. And they want to kind of suck you back and keep control of um well, of you and to keep you safe, right? So their whole goal in life, your community, your family, your friends, is to keep you safe. And so anytime you're venturing into an area that's unknown, they want to try and pull you uh, back to what is comfortable, right? So the very interesting thing is that Lisa Nichols did the same thing. She moved from Los Angeles to San Diego as a single mom with her son and decided she was going to make it big as a speaker. And and I'm listening to this story and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm making this huge shift. I'm saying yes to my purpose in such a much bigger way. And um, my speaking, my coaching, just just everything, uh, becoming the, the person, the woman, the entrepreneur, the CEO that I'm meant to be. An empowered decision, planted that seed, and now the ball is rolling. So it's a very exciting journey. I'm so happy to be sharing it with you. And for those of you who have been following me for a while, for you to be a part of this uh, movement, this uh, synergy, this just whirlwind of newness, 
you know, and it's really funny that I have on white today because this is another fresh start for me. And um, anyway, it's powerful. I just want to invite you to really consider making some big, bold, courageous decisions in your life, whether it be about your career, whether it be about love, because there's a lot of people who are in marriages right now or relationships that are settling for a lack of a better word. You feel the uncomfortableness. You feel the frustration. You feel that you're not satisfied. You know deep in your heart that you're not meant to be in that relationship. But because you've been in it for such a long time or because the person is so nice or whatever the situation may be, you stay. And what's happening is as we grow, if our community, if our friends and our family and our partners are not growing with us, then they actually begin to hold us back from becoming the person that we're truly meant to be. And you deciding to choose you, you deciding to choose your purpose and step boldly into who God put you on earth to become is not being mean. And it doesn't mean that you love the people around you any less. What it means is that you love yourself enough to really become your best, your highest self, and to glorify your God, whoever it is that you worship and pray to, um, to become what, 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 what he or she meant for you to be, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you. Again, this is going to be my very last time coming to you from my Las Vegas house, and I would give you another tour, but there's nothing left to see. <laughs> So as of tomorrow, I will be journeying to San Diego and unpacking my bags and settling into this new adventure that I call, um, you know, my, my, my fresh start, my newest awakening. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll share with you along the way. We'll be on this journey together. I look forward to serving you in much bigger ways. And... Um, also, for those of you who were interested in my Pandora's Box community, the coaching community, um, I'd like for you to go ahead and click the link, or you can visit my website, patrinawisdom.com. Um, also, join me on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with all my updates and pictures and everything that will be happening over the next week or so. Um, I look forward to connecting with you. There's, there should be a link here on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, there should be a link to join the Pandora's Box coaching community. I would love to work directly with 10 ladies who are just ready to take life to the next level because that's exactly where I am. And what happens is when you surround yourself by people, when you're supported by people who are also moving forward, then they bring you up with them. So just as I am looking up to my mentors and, and hanging on to their coattails and really, you know, pushing forward, um, so must you. And so if uh, God says the same, then I will be that person in your life to guide you and support you through that journey. Anyways, either way, I'm just so grateful to have you as a part of my community. If you're new to my community, I definitely will encourage you to come back. This isn't my normal format for these videos. Um, typically, I would give three tips for whatever the awakening is we're talking about this month. And this month, it is an empowered uh, decision making. So with that said, I adore you all. Uh, namaste, light and love to everyone. Peace, happiness, success. There's no reason we can't have it all. And uh, I'll see you next week.